guys, what's up? Today I am serving you some sunset vibes with this eye look. I think it turned out really pretty. I used a bunch of items from my August Boxy Charm, including the Laura Lee Los Angeles Party Animal Palette. It is a very colorful, very pretty palette. So, if you'd like to see how I got this look and if it was difficult or easy to achieve with this palette, then just keep watching. Alright, so the first product I'm using from the BoxyCharm is a uh, Wander Beauty Eye Mask. I'm like having some baggage issues today, so... We're gonna just, okay, they're really thin, oh, it's like in between, does it matter which is the right and the left, I guess not, this is very liquidy. That's shiny. Okay, I am gonna dig in to this Laura Lee Los Angeles Animal Party palette. I'm probably gonna be using uh, the orangey yellow shades with the pink. Don't think I'm gonna be using any blue today. I did do a blue look already. So I'm trying to do like a little sunsetty type vibe. I'm just gonna put a little concealer on my eyelid, blend it with my beauty blender. Okay, I'm gonna set with my translucent powder. I'm a little nervous. I'm taking the Morphe M511 with this bright greenish yellow shade. It's called It's a Party. Ooh, okay, can you see how powdery this is? This is why I'm a little nervous, but we're gonna go for it, okay? That's a little better. Okay. Alright, we're just gonna build that color up. It's really more of a yellow than. It looks really green in the pan, but it's definitely yellow. blow this out pretty far all right I mean I guess that's not bad so powdery though crap I forgot to zoom you in okay now we're zoomed hmm I don't hate it you guys I don't hate it. Okay. I'm going to take Dranks, which is the bright orange, on a smaller M518 brush. That one wasn't as powdery. And I'm going to put that into the crease and on the outer edge. some pigment on that shadow okay hmm don't feel like this eye is blending is nice okay back in with the first brush and we're gonna go in with bottoms up with this uh, brush I got in the Naked 3 palette. Hmm. I'm gonna wet it with some Fix Plus. 
I'm also not getting any sparkle, and this is a sparkly shade, so. Hmm. Wow. Okay, so that shade needs to be wet. There's the sparkle, y'all. like too pigmented. I'm gonna take more of that orange. Try to blend this out a little bit. <laughs> Can you see that when I do this nothing happens? Shimmer just blended out. <laughs> okay. Can you see how patchy that is over here? And it won't blend out because I wet it. All the sparkles gone. Look at that. That looks so bad. Okay. I'm gonna take more of this pink shade, and I'm not wetting my brush. But it is a little wet still. And I'm just going to try to get some of that sparkle back in there. I'm going to take a pencil brush. This is the Morphe M322. And I'm going to try to see if I can get some of that orange to lay better. To be a little bit more vibrant. This looks so bad. Look at that orange. It got all up in the blue. I'm not, it's sticking in there. Okay. It's really not completely horrible. All right. Now I'm going to go in and do the other eye. Okay, so that's what we have going on. It's okay. Zoom you out. I guess from far away it like doesn't look that bad. Anyways, the next product I'm going to use is from my BoxyCharm, the Becca First Light Priming Filter. And it does have a purple tint to it. It's very runny. It smells like Pez. Ooh. It's glowy. It's not bad, I guess. Okay, guys, I'm gonna go do my face, and I will be back for the lower lash line. So, I have on the Nicole Guerrero Faux Flawless Lashes from Ilore. For face, I used the ColourPop No Filter Foundation in Light 60. And then I also used the ColourPop No Filter Concealer. This is Light 16. I also used the No Filter Setting Powder in Banana. And then the No Filter Sheer Pressed Powder in Medium. I also used the Benefit Goop Proof on my brow. And I used the NYX Contour Kit for my highlight and contour. And then I also used the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighting Powder in Precious Petals. It's really pretty. And I used that on my cheeks and forehead, and down the nose and cupid bow, as well as the highlight under the brow bone. And then in the inner corner, uh, that one wasn't bright enough. I needed something a little bit brighter. So I used the Kylie Cosmetics Pressed Illuminating Powder in French Vanilla. So, 
that's what we have going on. I do have a little bit of loose powder under my eyes, the Maybelline Fit Me setting powder in fair light, just so that if there's any fallout, I can easily brush it away. Okay, so I'm taking this It's a Party color on a Sigma E39, and I am going to buff that under the lower lash line. This is the Morphe M322, the same one we used on our crease on the upper lid. Buff that on the lower lash line. Go in with the first brush. Make sure that's blended. And then I am not sure how this is going to go, but I am taking the Morphe M432. It's a flat shader brush. And I am going to pick up some of this pink color. And I'm going to try to put this on the lower lash line. But as we remember, the top wasn't very pigmented, so I'm just going to see how this goes. Hmm. It's not horrible. I don't want a lot of color. I just want it to kind of match the top. This color is so chalky, I'm not gonna lie. Alright, I'm gonna throw on a little mascara. Okay, let's do some lips. I was wondering if I could be daring and wear this color from my BoxyCharm, but don't think that's gonna work. So, I'm just gonna go for a nude. I'm using the Kylie Cosmetics Lip Liner in Malibu. For lips, I'm using the Casey Holmes Palladio Lip Collaboration in Rescue. And then in the center, I'm using the Jouer Lip Cream in Bare. Okay guys, so this is the finished look. actually don't hate it to be honest been wanting to do a sunset look like this for a long time let's check out the blending it's not bad I I mean I honestly did have to go over that ten times probably to get it to look like that with the orange I like really had to pack the orange on um but it doesn't look that bad right yeah brighten it a little bit so you can see yeah you see it's not bad but I like really had to work with it okay so overall the Laura Lee Los Angeles palette which is the main thing in the boxy charm this month um it's really hard to work with. So if you're a beginner, this is probably going to be a harder look to achieve. Uh, I'm pretty sure there's better palettes out there as far as colorful palettes. I've heard the BH Cosmetics Take Me Back to Brazil palettes really nice. Um, I just really felt like I had to pack on every color and even after I did my lash like after I felt like the eyes looked good and I would go and do something I would find that the outer corner would be really patchy and I'd have to pack on the orange again I definitely don't think I would purchase this palette um, like I said it's really pretty but it just seemed really hard to work with the one thing I do like about this palette is that you can achieve a pretty colorful look without using another palette. I was able to use the green, the orange, and the pink, and they did fade together pretty nicely to give me like a sunset type vibe. Um, and then you can kind of see with the blues, it does look like, you know, you could maybe transition into this dark color. The only other thing that I really tried out of the BoxyCharm this month, because this lip is just 
too bright um, was the Becca First Light Primer. I think it actually looks pretty good um, with all my powders and stuff on it. I think it still does look kind of glowy. So I'm not mad at it. I don't know if I'll really use it that much, but I'm not mad at it. The other products that I didn't use is the uh, cuticle oil. It's uh, NCLA Treatments So Rich Vitamin E Infused Cuticle Oil. I think I could actually use this. I don't think that that's like a horrible. Th it's definitely something everybody can use. Oh, and then the eye patches. Um, I did think that that dark spot on the inner corner of my eye did kind of go away after I used those. My under eyes do feel like kind of hydrated. Maybe a little tight, like it's a tightening type of thing. The last thing is this eyeliner from Bang Beauty. It is a brown. I just did not feel like putting on eyeliner. This eye makeup look was honestly pretty difficult to achieve, so to put on eyeliner on top of it, I just couldn't get myself to do it. But it's a nice cream gel eyeliner in brown. I don't actually have any eyeliners in brown right now, so we'll check it out. We received these six things. So an, I think for $21 a month that this is a nice value. I do think that if you're not willing to experiment with makeup and try new things that maybe um, there will be some boxes that you wouldn't like. I've noticed that the palettes tend to kind of go with the seasons and stuff so for summer they came out with some really bright palettes and then um, hopefully like in winter it, it'll be like more toned down. I do think that this is worth it. Um, I have heard a lot of people not liking their box this month and I can understand with the Laura Lee Los Angeles palette not everybody is going to be able to utilize something with such color. I would maybe suggest uh, using that as a pop of color like I did in my last tutorial with the BoxyCharm. I think that that's a nice way to utilize some color without feeling like a clown. So those are my final thoughts. I do think that this box is worth it if you are willing to experiment with makeup. If you're just going for a natural, bronzy, neutral eye makeup look, maybe this box isn't for you. I've noticed that a lot of the lip colors are very dark and kind of vampy. So if you're not into that, I'm not really sure that this box is going to be for you because we do tend to get two out of five or six of the products is usually an eyeshadow palette and uh, some sort of lip. I do think that maybe this box would be a little bit more worth it if they could integrate some items where you can make a whole look out of it. Like instead of a bright lip, maybe we could have gotten a nude lip so that we could have used it with the look. Or a nude blush so it felt kind of cohesive, like I could use things with this look from the same box. If you liked this video, please subscribe to my channel and hit the thumbs up. And if you'd like to be notified when I upload a video, please hit the little bell next to the subscribe box so that you're notified when I upload. I hope you have a good day or night, wherever you are. Toddy bye. everywhere.